I have the Asus Zenfone 6 with me and this is a very quick uh, first look of this device guys I don't have a proper uh, unit so this is just a test unit that I got access to for some time so let me just quickly give you an idea about this one and yes this Zenfone 6 is powered by the Snapdragon uh, 855 SoC and uh, this will come in three variant storage uh, the base will be 6 gigabytes of RAM with uh, 64 GB of storage and another one will come with 128 gigabytes and 8 GB RAM will come with 256 gigabytes of storage and uh, if you look at it uh, as you can see uh, we don't have any notches or anything on this so it's a full uh, view display and it's a full HD plus uh, display that you're getting and it's running over Zen UI but again as you can see it's very close to stock Android experience that you can see and if you notice even the dark theme is enabled you have an option I've enabled it for the time being and uh, yes digital well-being is there so that's actually nice on this one as you can see and uh, it's been pretty responsive we've been playing it for some time and uh, let me give you a physical overview because because there are a lot of changes on this device and yes it still retains stereo speaker so that's actually nice but if you go over the top we have this I'll talk about this later but uh, again the entire chasers is actually made up of metal fields very sturdy and here we have extra key over here this is actually known as the smart key this is a new addition and you can map it to anything fortunately by default it Google assistant comes but again you can map it to uh, to do a lot more things I'll show you we have the volume rockers and this is the power on of pun uh, bottom the vent for the speaker USB type C port uh, it's having a massive 5000 milliamp hour battery and it's also still has that uh, 3.5 mm headphone jack and here we have uh, the sim tray let's look at the configuration on this one and if we just take this out again nice to see actually they have a proper slot for a micro SD card and two nano sims so I think so this is the only flagship that is uh, having that option as of now and uh, the battery is also 5000 milliamp hour battery and this will come with Qualcomm uh, quick charge for in the box it's supposed to be 18 watt charger and you just, you just saw uh, we have the fingerprint scanner it's very responsive over here and uh, another biggest trick of this one is uh, and again I forgot the glass is Gorilla Glass 6 here on the front back is Gorilla Glass 3 and uh, I believe a case will also come bundled in the box and if you notice the front facing camera is uh, not there on this one back if you move uh, this is actually a 48 megapixel and a 13 megapixel wide angle camera that they have and let me actually invoke uh, first let me show you the smart key as I told you we have the smart key by default if you just click it once Google Assistant comes but again you can map it to other things also for example double tap I have mapped it to a flashlight as you can see I can do that and fortunately it does allow us to actually change what you can do with this go to advanced setting and we have the smart key option and here a Google Assistant you can invoke or you can customize it and set it to whatever you want for example as you can see you have a lot of options where you can change whatever you want so nice addition of that smart key and now let's talk about the camera which I feel is very different on this device and let's open the camera app over here and if you notice this is the regular camera app that you see this is the rear facing but what happens to the front facing when you do it when you click on this as you can see this comes over here this rises just goes back the whole mechanism goes like this and this is actually pretty cool guys we have some functions with this for example you can actually control the angle of the tilt if you hold it like this and if I move it as you can see the whole camera is moving and you get a different angle like this you can play around with this and I found one more cool thing with this if you are in the uh, panorama mode with this they have an uh, actually a nice uh, setting here uh, if I go over here to the rear facing camera uh, again motion tracking slow motion is there video photo and I forgot I'll show you that but uh, this is the regular mode that we have and we also have that wide angle lens as you can see uh, with this one and from here if I go to the panorama mode I, I, as you can see we have this option let me actually show you I'll just keep it like this and if I invoke it if I just it's going to rotate the whole camera like this so you get actually 180 degree shot and it just goes back so this is pretty cool as you can see we got a panorama without even just moving or janking here and there so this is pretty cool and you can actually control this if you are even in the photo mode the rear facing camera you can rotate it like this to whatever angle you want so this is actually pretty cool as you can see and you might be wondering what happens if I 
play it with this like this manual if i do it works like this also it doesn't get damaged like that as you can see now it's working so very intelligent implementation of this uh, rear facing camera it can become a panorama camera a selfie camera again selfies will be great because it's that 48 megapixel camera and here we also have that wide angle lens with this one so again guys uh, this was a very quick first look at this asus zenfone 6 i don't even know the india pricing because the india launch hasn't been done yet i expect it to be there in the next couple of weeks and in that we will know the india pricing but i think so it should be priced a lot more aggressively uh i would say as it's asus compared to the oneplus 7 pro anyways guys what do you think about this uh, asus zenfone 6 do let me know in the comment section below